welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm really excited for this video because as you can see by the title we are doing a deep clean of our whole apartment and we're gonna revamp our bathroom as well so to start off this day i will be doing laundry and surprisingly we didn't have a lot of laundry to do which is very rare because every weekend i have like three loads of laundry to do do i do all of them at one time no but you know we do what we gotta do so i don't use anything special i just use the gain detergent along with the downy beads and those together just smell really really nice so next we're moving on to the living room and i'm just gonna pick up the living room it's really not too much like the living room don't really get dirty but i do want to go ahead and freshen up our couch and i seen this thing on pinterest where you basically put your dish detergent dish detergent you put your laundry detergent with your dish soap and you kind of like mix it up with water and then you put a towel in there to soak it all up and then you just kind of scrub the couch with it and it makes it smell really really good and plus if you have any stains i mean this will get it out too I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the couch first. And since our couch is light, it had a lot of hairs and a lot of crumbs in there. Like everything was very visible. So it was just kind of like a lot that I had to do in the creases. But now I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the couch down. And I wasn't able to get out that little brown stain down there, but I honestly don't know what it is. And yeah, yeah, but I tried. Next, I'm gonna start vacuuming our little rug and I'm gonna go ahead and put some baking soda on the rug because we don't have any carpet cleaner, so it just worked perfectly fine. I'm really starting to fall in love more and more every day with our apartment as everything is coming along. We still have quite a few things that we need to get as far as like decorations. Like I still wanna really tall plan and everything. I do wanna get some things to put on the wall i do want to put that mirror on the wall as well as like a little i don't even know what it's called like a little side wall table with like a basket underneath and everything but yeah we just been really enjoying our place like nothing's better than just having your own space now we're gonna get into the bathroom and i'm gonna remove everything my husband is actually gonna clean the bathroom himself so you all would just get to enjoy that because when i tell you i did not feel like cleaning the bathroom so i'm glad that he just offered i didn't even have to ask he was just like i'm gonna clean the bathroom and i'm like okay So next, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the shower caddies. They just had a little bit of soap scum and everything on them. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just scrub them a little bit and then I'm gonna hang them back up and that'll be all for the shower. And y'all bear with me with this voiceover because I am sick. So if I sound like a little like, you know, nasal and everything, just want to let y'all know that I am sick, but 
I just been trying to get through it and y'all know God is a God of healing so he'll heal me in Jesus name I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back up and put everything back in its place and then my husband is gonna get to cleaning the sink and everything so I think I'm gonna just let you guys watch that and not really talk too much throughout that so yeah just enjoy <laughs> I'm saying y'all so now it is time for my favorite part which we are finally putting up our bathroom shelves and i had these since we moved in but i was so intimidated to put them up because i didn't know what i was doing i knew i couldn't do it by myself and at the time vante wasn't there when i was wanting to put them up so now months later we are finally putting them up the instructions were really really confusing when it came to putting up these shelves but then we finally figured it out and we thought that we weren't even going to be able to put them up without like a power drill but literally all we needed was the screwdriver and the nail so everything went pretty smooth we were very happy with the results um i'm really happy with the toilet paper holder for real because I got tired of, Monte, can you give me some toilet paper or just the other way around? But yeah, y'all, now we're finna get to decorating, which I didn't really know what I was doing at first, but I did get this nice candle from Walmart. Walmart is definitely stepping up their game. The candle is called Cozy Comfort, and it's just a mixture of some vanilla and like something very like fruity, but it's like the perfect balance. But I just went ahead and added this cute sage color plant with the wash towels and then a perfume cologne and the flossers. Now I'm gonna make this little cute sink basket where I'm gonna put some more face towels on there as well as some cotton balls. Just to, you know, like spice up the scenery, whatever. Now I'm gonna add a wall plug-in and that will complete the bathroom. And this is basically what the bathroom looks like. I'm very satisfied. Like I said, this candle smells so amazing. So I'm just very happy. Now we're going to finally put up our key holder, which we've had this since we moved in. We never put it up because we thought that we needed like a drill or something. But nope, it just took a screwdriver and it just adds that, you know, the more homey look, yeah. It is now time to get into the bedroom, and it wasn't really a lot to do in the bedroom. Uh, the major thing was to clean the nightstands, the mirrors, and the carpet because the carpet was very, very linty. But as far as our sheets and everything, I had just washed those a few days ago, so everything is good. So I'm just going to straighten up the bed and all that, and then we're going to get into vacuuming. Yeah. 
Now that I'm done vacuuming, I'm just going to clean off the nightstands and get to wiping them down as well as the mirrors and then I will be done with the bedroom pretty much. Um, I do have a mighty task with the closet and you guys will just have to stay tuned for my weekend vlog because I changed the closet around I got some new things and everything so make sure you just stay tuned. And like I said before, just bear with me for being sick, y'all. I've been trying to edit this for a while, and I just so happened to get sick just about four days ago. And so i just really been trying to thug it out. So like I said, just bear with me and everything. Um, it do sound like I'm getting worse, but like I said, God is a God of healing, and he got me, and I'm going to overcome this no matter what but at the end of the day i still have to edit i still have to get these videos out for y'all so i just really hope you guys are enjoying it so far because it was very satisfying filming this and also very satisfying editing this but yeah y'all i'm basically finished with the bedroom and now we're gonna get into cleaning the kitchen and this was my least favorite part uh, i kind of leave cleaning the kitchen up to vante but we're just gonna go ahead and clean out the fridge and everything. Make sure that I'm throwing out all the old stuff. And yeah, we, I kind of learned my lesson on grocery shopping because we was going to grocery shopping for like buying stuff for two weeks and ended up like not even eating most of the stuff. So a lot of stuff went bad and everything. So now I have the mindset of, if we want this, we're going to go to the store and get it today or tomorrow. You know, like, I'm not going to buy in bulk because it's only two of us and we don't have a big old family. So I just I'm glad I got that realization. I'm glad that I didn't continue to go grocery shopping because it was a point where I was feeling a little like I felt like we needed to always go to the store and always have food and always have snacks and stuff like that but now we've been saving so much more money just going to the store when we need to instead of when we want to if that makes sense But yeah, yeah, I'm going to just continue to clean out the fridge and then put everything that was good back in the fridge. Like I said, a lot of stuff went to waste. A lot of fruit went to waste and meat, like so much stuff went to waste. I was heartbroken looking at the trash bag. But like I said, I learned my lesson from everything. So we're just going to move forward. And yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the freezer, clean everything out, make sure I'm throwing everything out that's not good anymore, and then just put everything back in its place. I just kind of want to talk about like how it is moving out your parents' house and just living on your own. Of course, I live with my husband, so it's different than just living on your own, but we really love it, y'all. Like It's not as hard as people try to make it seem. Like when it comes to paying bills, bills aren't as hard as people make it seem because if say like the first two months, you know, you kind of get a idea of how much your bills are going to be monthly. So if you plan accordingly, like you'll be straight, y'all. Like if you make sure that you're saving this money and you're putting this money aside to contribute to your bills, you'll be good because I know a lot of people kind of like use one check to pay all of their bills and that's probably like mm, that's not smart yeah it's really not smart if you make sure that you set aside this amount of money out of one check and then this amount of money for the next check it's going to be way easier to pay your bills than just paying it full 
from just one check, if that makes sense. And I also just want to speak about how God has been our source for everything. God is the reason why we're even married. God is the reason why we are even in this place. God is the reason why we are even able to do what we do. He has done so much for us, y'all. Like, he has provided for us since day one. I just really want to express how important it is to put your faith in God and to not try to do everything in your own strength because when you do everything in your own strength that leaves you stressed that leaves you worried about things that leaves you depressed overwhelmed it leaves you feeling so defeated but as soon as you submit everything to God he will do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever imagine like it's it's crazy when you pray for God's will to be done. He will lead you in the right direction and he will never leave you nor forsake you. And I really just been holding on to that. Like God will never leave me. He will never forsake me. God loves me and he will never put me in a position that will hurt me. And just holding on to that has been very like, that's what's keeping me strong. Just reading his word and and knowing his promises for me, knowing what he says about me, knowing who he says I am, that is what is keeping me going every single day. And yes, it's hard because we can get so caught up in our current circumstances, like us not having enough money in our bank account or us not being where we want to be with our job situation or or just little stuff, y'all. But God wants us to come to him and not any outside source. A lot of times we might feel like we have to do this out of fear. We have to pick up another job because we're scared about if we're going to have enough money to pay this, if we're going to have enough money to pay that. But God wants us to come to him and submit everything to him. And I just hope that gave you all some encouragement. If you're new in Christ or if you don't have a relationship with God, I just encourage you to pray to him. God, I surrender to you, I surrender to your will. Please help me. And he will show up and show out. But, yep, this is the end of my deep cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.